Okay. So, technically, uh, it's my intro this week, but I feel like I should give it to Sam. So I will. I give to you, Sam. Oh, that what the? Where'd you go? There you are. <laughs> hey, what's <laughs> I give, up? I gift my it's intro me. to you. It's me, the guy. I can't even hold it in. The guy that leaked the iPhone 14, <laughs> dude. Oh, uh, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with what? you? <laughs> are you upset about it? When I saw your video, so you sent me your video early. I saw it. I, yeah. I saw it early, yeah. and uh, I was. Are you? Were you upset? I couldn't pick up the vibe that you were that you were putting down the video. Are you upset that this happened? Yeah, I'm angry, upset. What? Excited, blasphemed. <laughs> You're just all the emotions. To, deceived. Okay. And uh, happy to be talking to you today on a new episode of the Genius Bar, John. That's how I'm feeling. It's, I mean, uh... dude, when you sent me this a couple weeks ago, okay. So I for context, believe... real quick. We are recording this after the episode's already out. Yeah. So the episode went out today, yeah. and this is like our reaction to the reaction. So go ahead. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can talk about your side. Well, first uh -huh. of all, congrats. This is a huge oh, thing. Oh, thank you. Very, very <laughs> happy you, and proud of you, for real. Old Sam would have said, I can't believe he's getting all this attention. <laughs> but new Sam, Sam says, upset. I'm still... I'm gonna get some of this attention like secondhand on the genius bar, so uh -huh. I'm accepting it. So <laughs> that's it, it why it's out. that's why it's fine. But uh, you know, it, it my camera unable to process the three seconds of the show. I, I can tell yeah. it's gonna be a great show. I I am so confused. I'm so excited. That was my genuine reaction. Like that intro. Normally, I'll do four or five takes of an intro. That was the first and only intro I filmed for this video. Like I never do that. Mm -hmm. And it was just genuinely, I kept it and didn't redo it because I said, no, this is what I'm feeling. This is yeah, what I'm experiencing. Yeah, you recorded it like right after I showed you everything. So yeah, which I'm happy. I recorded I didn't know it you were gonna two do days that. ago. Dude, I showed some of my friends privately the design before how could I know, you i know i know you told them that ne you told me to wait next but time i have were... something i'll be like should i send this to sam because he's gonna send all his fucking friends hey but the question is no no i'm talking about in person i didn't send okay. it like i had it on my phone and showed okay them, so there's no way they fine. would yeah yeah no i wouldn't just send your images to somebody without well, that's what you. i thought you that said would be no, 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 no. I'm talking about, I was hanging out with my friend, Tommy. I had a really good good time hanging out with some friends and then his fiance, Emily, this weekend and uh -huh. another friend, Jen. And, and we were just sitting around talking and I was like, oh yeah, I've got like a busy week coming up. And they're like, what do you mean? Like you do a YouTube, not, you just you have yeah. fun all the time. And you I don't was have like, well, a real job. <laughs> yeah, I was like, my friend is kind of about to drop the biggest leak in 13 years, so. No, I don't are. know if it's the biggest one, but. How are you feeling, man? Did you sleep at all? I mean, I think I think we got two hours of sleep. The last, like, I mean, it's been crazy, but uh, yeah. I did not expect what happened today to happen. I mean, I, I expected I expected it to an extent, but I mean, I could have not. I had no idea. Like we we were number two on trending as of an hour ago. Number wow. two. On, that's insane. Wait, what were you beat out by? Uh, I forget. We were right behind Blue's that's Clues for a while. <laughs> Why is very important? How is Blue's Clues still relevant? Yeah, we were right. We were. Oh, we we were uh, trending behind Star Trek. I think was the number one trend. Okay, under, before us. That's. Um, I don't. Under, how did fifty thousand people tweet about this? I have no idea. Like, and what? it was trending within that's the first insane. hour, so the episode went out. Uh, super stressed. Just like. It was like, I mean, you know, when you work on something for a while and then it's just out there, then people just have it. And some people started sending me screenshots of it being trending. And I was like, those are Photoshopped or something. And I even made people like, send me a screen recording of that because I couldn't see it. It wasn't trending for me. And they sent me mm. a screen recording of it trending. And then eventually it showed up for me. And it was just, it was wild, just completely wild. We, I mean, we put out the, uh, we put out the episode and then did an article on the website like an hour later. Everything was timed and scheduled in advance. Uh, I'm mm. shocked. So the original plan was a bad one, by the way, which I think you knew the original plan. The original plan was to announce it or do this leak the day after the iPhone event. We've had a few, we had a few different ideas. The yeah, first no, one, the original plan I thought was to do it day of the iPhone. Yeah, event. that was the original one. We were going to do it <laughs> right in the begin, like in the morning, hours before the event. Uh, which would have caused uh, chaos completely. 
But uh, yeah. I think it was better for it to have its own day. And um, I didn't think that we would. I'm. I think I thought it was smart to try to wa- ride the wave of Apple dropping the invites, and then we drop ours right after. Because mm. I mean, you know, I've had this for weeks. The longest I've ever yes. sat on a leak, which was the worst part, because I was like, anyone could drop this at any time, and I'm just when, sitting on it. <laughs> and, when it got to last night, I was just dying. I thought about it. I sat at my computer. I sat back like this, and I said, "Man, I could get a lot of attention you if could. I cracked out his watermark and uh-huh. just shared the design early." I and mean, I you thought could about have. It, I said, "I said, you know what." I'm not going to do that to John because he's my friend. <laughs> I mean, think about the level of trust. Could you imagine doing today's show if I would have shared it before you? Like, what would what would what would you have done? Let's say hypothetically, I because you sent me literally everything. You I sent did. me the episode oh, yeah. and the images, <laughs> yeah. so I could have just taken it and you published could've. my video. I th- I would have been. Would I, it have ended our relationship? I would have been very, very, very hurt. Like, not I wouldn't even. If it would have been anyone else, I would have been mad. But you, I would have just been very hurt. I would have just been like, "Yeah, oh no, <laughs> I thought I, I don't." But I, I think it we would have been anger. Friends. I don't think if uh, let's say the roles were reversed and it was uh-huh. like I had the leak and then gave it to you. I think if you left it, I don't know if I could repair that relationship. Like I don't know. Yeah, like, it would take a lot if you had shared something because it's not. It would have been different if it's like, oh, John told me AirPods 3 are coming this day, so I shared uh-huh. the day first. But this yeah. is like never before seen phone in history. Yeah. It's such a play. But I've you know, do, we that do that with, I, with I every leak. I've sent you like real images along with renders and yeah. stuff before. But, but yeah, this, this was, was a pr- just. Yeah. I mean, I, I trust I was looking you. At I, it. Th- this literally shows you I trust you with my career. Whoa. That's proof. crazy. It's hey, proof. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's been a busy couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, we, so I sent I sent you like around I think the day that I saw it. Honestly, the first day that I saw it, like the images, I sent them to you, which is probably not my smartest thing, but I did. Got to tell somebody, you know what I mean? Uh, no, I was very excited when you told me. I was like, it's it's not gonna be the iPhone four. I'm so I'm like hesitant uh-huh. to talk about it because I'm like, wait, can we talk about it? And yeah, I'm like, we can oh, talk about out. it now. <laughs> By the way, because for weeks, on the amazing. Show. This was such a good kept secret. So thank you for keeping it such a good secret. Even like you teased on Twitter and it's like I, I woke up. I got like two hours of sleep. I woke up for a second and I checked Twitter. So I had an alarm set for eight thirty in the morning because we had okay. to start. Things were scheduled to start going out at nine fifteen. And so I was like, I'll wake up at 8.30, like have a coffee and get started for the day. But I woke up at like 7.59, I remember. And I remember thinking, okay, so I have a half hour to sleep. I'm really tired. I'll just sleep. I made the mistake of opening Twitter. And I saw your tweet saying, uh, reading Twitter today is going to be really fun. And I got excited. I was like, oh, fuck. And then I just didn't go back to sleep. So like, like, you got me me, excited. Yeah. Um, ah, it was so fun to know. I was so happy because everyone didn't know, and it felt so good. No, to, not I, not one person guessed. Not one person no. guessed. Everyone no, was caught who off guard. Would? I mean, I thought I they would. I definitely thought somebody would guess. This is ne- we used to see back in the days when on leaks <laughs> used to be the one that would share the design. Sorry, I shouldn't have made you okay. do a spit take there with what you're drinking. But uh, back when he was the one, remember it was him every year. He would share the new uh-huh. iPhone design. He was the one that shared the iPhone 11, 11 Pro design. Yeah, and, yeah, and the 11 since and, uh-huh. and every phone before it essentially. But then he just stopped for some reason, and then you kind of came and I guess the sources kind of move around and they're like, oh, let's work with somebody yeah. different. And you know, Young I, I and remember spry. When he used to be the. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he used to be the de facto, and and now it's it shifted to you. And and I don't know. I remember we were talking about it last night. It was such a like I don't think you realized until last night when we were talking how big of a deal this was. As far as no one like we usually get, get this three months before. We're getting this thirteen months before. I mean, I mean that's nuts. I it didn't set in. I don't. I think the issue was. You know when you work on something for so long that it just loses meaning entirely? Mm, yeah. I, so this episode yeah. ha- has been filmed for over a week. You know, it's been edited. Everything has been ready to go. And it's the longest I've ever worked on an episode. But because it was so long, I fucking was so meticulous about every detail, every second of that episode. And so I have seen it a thousand times. And it completely mm. lost meaning. And I there were times where I would come out from editing and I would 
go to Korea, I was like, is this even worth it? Like, will people think this is cool? Is this <laughs> is this still cool, or am I am I going crazy? I yeah. I didn't realize until I saw your video because you showed me early. Mm-hmm. Until I saw that and saw somebody else's perspective and like your reaction, because keep in mind I haven't seen anyone's reaction. This has been a secret. Mm-hmm. And you're right, you're right. Seeing your reaction, I was like, okay, this is actually really cool, and I am so fucking lucky that out of, out of anyone that could do this, I got picked for this. I mean, that's how yeah. it works. The sources can pick anyone they want, and it was just a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, it might not be. I might get, you know, next year's, well, I guess I already got next year's phone. I might get iPhone 15 a year from now, whatever, you know, but... Tomorrow? Is that, yeah. is that tomorrow's like iPhone 15? <laughs> yeah. Come but, on, seven you know, up now, John. But today, I'm the lucky one, and so we wanted to take full advantage, and since we had so much time, like, we could have put it out as mm. soon as we saw it, as we do other leaks, but it was just like, you know me, this could have been the downfall of the story also. Like, I... I prefer telling a good story. Like the storyline is more important than the report to me and being able Mm. to hype it up this way and drop it the day after Apple's invites, like everything lining up this way. I I was telling Ian, like in the beginning, I was like, it's, it's risky for us to sit on this, but if we pull this off, it's like the perfect Mm. drop. And so we waited on it. And I mean, anything could happen. Somebody could have leaked it before me, either pictures or details like, I mean, you know, fucking, you know, Mark Gurman, anything could have happened. He could have just been like circular buttons on iPhone 14 in his fucking newsletter and it would have been ruined. Mm-hmm. But, um, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm grateful that I got chosen for this. And so we wanted to make this special for everyone. Not only did we do the leak early, but like for pe- I wanted it to feel like everyone got to experience the episode and then they got to go home with something like a little gift, but a little gift box. Like everyone gets mm-hmm. the, the iPhone 14 and AR on their device and you can see it in your house that's fucking cool in gold or black whatever color you want i think that's really cool and so i don't know how i'll top it i'll probably never top this but i'm lucky that i got to do it this time and we'll see you know it's just fun it's a lot of fun i don't know if i'll be able to keep doing this for the next year so you never know when it ends everything like this is fleeting so Oh, that was so sentimental. Well, it's really true. It's co- as an Apple guys, fan, don't like, believe this is it. He doesn't cool. mean any of it. He's only yeah. in it for the money. <laughs> he only does. He paid for the leak. He paid Apple yeah. ten million dollars directly. <laughs> yeah, dude. So we we did f- funny story. Genius Bar exclusive. We had a backup plan. We ran through for every what? scenario. Okay. So legally, we were like, Apple doesn't have any right to to go after us. But because yeah. we we rendered with the Apple logo and because we like did that promo in the episode with the music and the Apple logo, I was like, I wouldn't be shocked if they made some sort of copyright claim just to get the episode removed. Mm. So we had a backup plan. If the episode goes down because Apple didn't like us using their logo, we were going to re-render everything and repost the episode. But instead of an Apple logo, it was going to be a dick on all of the renders. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you fuck That's on really me. That's a really good backup plan. <laughs> we fuck That's on you. That's a really good backup plan. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about that today because for a second I was like, Apple PR has to be so upset and they have to be, you know, so frustrated by this. And then I realized, yeah, fifty thousand people tweeted about it, but fifty thousand people buy a new iPhone every day. Yeah. Like, this doesn't. You know, it makes me think about leaks in general. Like, it doesn't matter. People, this coming out, yeah, the tech heads like us, the people that watch the pod, the people that watch uh-huh. our channels they maybe will hold off from the iPhone 13. Yeah. But people to buy... My, st- my it's still going to be a ton she, of people buying it. She calls me yesterday. She goes, I threw both of me and Uncle Willie's phones into the lake on accident. And I said, oh, perfect. Mm-hmm. The, the 13s are coming out next week. Like, just wait seven days. And she goes, I think we're going to get the, the 50-50, like buy one, get one iPhone XR from T-Mobile. What? Which goes to show you, it and doesn't I, fucking I told matter. Her, I like, yeah, none of this matters. She goes, I, I hear my uncle Willie. She's like, you know, I don't really. He's like, Sammy, I use my phone for calling, uh-huh. and I use it for text, and I take a photo every time. Is the ten R good enough? And I was like, yeah, perfect. Uh-huh. That's what we're gonna get. Thanks, bud. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> like they don't care. They, they it could be the iPhone. It could look like be pure gold for free and they don't care. It's just like it doesn't matter. Anything uh-huh. wouldn't wouldn't scratch the surface. They, they just want the phone. They just yeah. want to fund the works. That's all they want. They want it to last a while. And, you know, that really put it in That's a really good I'm point. Like, yeah. The iPhone 14 is coming out tomorrow and they're buying a 2018 You mean the phone. iPhone 13? <laughs> well, no. I mean, you've released the yeah. iPhone 14. <laughs> yeah. But it's not coming out till next right. year. 
I mean, <sighs> that's the hardest part. Are you mad that you have to wait? Because I want that now, dude. I want it now. Well, I was worried like we did we started iPhone 13 leak videos so fast last year. And so I got worried like earlier this year, like, how long can we milk this? Mm-hmm. Like I felt like we started leaking stuff or like doing iPhone 13 videos the day after the iPhone 12 came out. But now it doesn't get any earlier than this. And so like everything is ruined for the rest of the year, probably for me too, where we'll be in another (laughs) tech drought because we've already talked about everything. And I mean, we're out of tech news drought yet now. Yay for that. But we're, I, we probably created another one just in a few months when we have nothing else to talk about because we already jumped the gun. Yeah, wait, did you screw all of us? I might have. I might have, yes. (laughs) It was such a rough three months. I mean... It was a real bad Imagine what happens with our iPhone 13 videos now. Like, that's the current phone. That's what we should be talking about. But now there's like a little asterisk next to all of the iPhone 13 videos because it's like, okay, but why? I think... You said it. Like, the iPhone 14 just dangling there now. Yeah. No, it is. It is. But at the same time, it's... I'm optimistic. People, I think, are still really interested. In it. I mean, the satellite thing is happening. That's cool. I mean, that's been. I okay. Do you want to just? We should jump into a sponsor and then jump into event invites. Yeah, talk more about there's Fort, so much to we talk about because so much. Like, other we than are this fully shit, out of the drought. Yeah, other than this shit, like <laughs> Apple did put out invites. Really cool. We didn't even say that. Yeah, there's an Apple event next week, guys. There's a literal <laughs> Apple event next week. It's yeah. the biggest event of the season. We're like iPhone 14. That's a year out. <laughs> okay, we'll talk uh, about that after the first sponsor. Which is hover. <laughs> it, we love hover. We love. We love we hover. We love hover. Our we favorite lo- domain we hover. registrar. You know, John. You know who else loves hover? Who loves hover? Well, why don't you just switch to our our third guest on the show? Okay, here we Big go. Exclusive- Maisie, everybody. It's Maisie. Maisie. Welcome, Maisie, to the Genius Bar. This is my dog. She's 15 years old. Oh, Maisie. And she wears diapers because oh. she pees constantly. Oh, she's long, dreaming. Oh, Maisie. Maisie's she's sleeping. So hey, Maisie, will you now, tell us about Hover? She says, I love Hover. I use Hover every day, and I wouldn't even think about buying a domain. <laughs> okay, you can switch it off of this. She goes to maziesdiapers.com, like, thanks to Hover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, can, you guys could get that great domain uh, when you go to hover.com slash genius. Okay, first of all, I mean, Hover is a domain service. You get to buy a domain, but you guys know how all the other domains, you know, they make it really easy, but, you know, it's still like, there's just a lot of lines. Hover is very, yeah. What, it's called aesthetic, I think we would say. It's very nice. It's very pleasing. Oh, it's so They're one nice, of the, the yeah. biggest names in the game. John talks about, you know, he's been hearing about Hover for years and it's, you know, now you're getting to promote them on your show. It's a weird, you know, yeah, it's wild, of yeah. the stuff you bought. But it's really cool when you guys go there. It's not just like, oh, it's another domain thing. It's you guys get 10% off when you use our link. It's hover.com slash genius. So you're getting a domain you want, a dot com, like appletrack.com or frontpagetech.com. Yep. And you get it for 10% off. Over 300 domain name extensions to choose from. Anything you so want. So many. Hover has them so all. So many. Um, did you know, Sam, I don't know if you know this, but you can get a 10% discount if you <laughs> use our link. Isn't that crazy? What? So like Hover is already something... very affordable. You look up the domain you want, you're like, whoa, that's all I have to pay? But then remember that if you use hover.com slash genius, that's 10% off what is already a low price for your domain. That's a pretty good deal because when you guys go to hover.com slash genius, you're getting 10% off. And that's what I have to say. Hover.com slash genius. Make a name for yourself with Hover. Hover, the best name in domain. The best Wait, name that's, that's in what domain. We, that's, that's what John made up. <laughs> we like we, we made it. that up, but they can have it if they want. Free of charge, yeah. of course. Okay. So, John. Um, Sam. There's there's an app. We, yeah. I, I, don't, I feel like we just glazed over this looking back. It's like, how do we do, what, 15 minutes of the pod without even mentioning? Yeah. Th- there's the iPhone 13 and Apple Watch event happening in, what, six days from the time? Of, yeah. So less than a week. So so do we tell everyone that, I mean, because when do we record next week's episode? So we, we strategically have done, we're recording this on a Wednesday and it's a day late. But that's that's just how we're doing it because it, it's strategic. Obviously, yeah. you want our reaction to the iPhone 14 stuff. But next week, we have yeah. to talk about the event, obviously. Now, I could maybe do one later that night because okay. I think I'll be done. So if you wanted to, we could totally 
We could totally meet at like seven, eight that night, put it out by like 10 or 11, okay. you know, if you that wanted, I don't know what your schedule is looking like. I no, could we probably could commit to that. Now there is an off chance. I will just be dead tired and I'll be like, John, we got you tomorrow. But that's what we did for that's fine. Dub Dub and the yeah. episode still did really, really well. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's because I you fucked up Dub Dub <laughs> real bad. Oh yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> dub, dub. Did real bad there. Um, uh, are you excited? Are you looking I, forward to it? Are you gonna get the iPhone 13? Tell, tell us. John I mean, yes, processor. of course. I'm gonna get the iPhone 13. I'm gonna get the Apple Watch. Obviously, I have to. Um, but am I excited? I'm excited about the Apple Watch, but I don't know if I'm excited. I'm gonna buy the iPhone 13 just because YouTube money. But like, not because I'm excited. I am. Actually, Are you excited? Okay. Yeah. iPhone 14 aside, you haven't seen it. Is the iPhone 13 exciting for you? Okay. Honest to God, it wasn't until we've heard about the satellite thing. Okay. I've been thinking about this a lot, and German has clarified. You are that, the biggest. You know, like, you're the biggest pusher for the satellite thing. I think you're the most yeah, excited no, out of anyone. From, it from the second we heard it because. I don't think people realize what this means yet. Like this literally means you could be anywhere on the earth potentially and send a text to someone. That is ridiculously powerful. Hell, you could probably be in space in text with the yeah. iPhone 13. And listen, they said it's, uh, German said it's not gonna be enabled until probably next year. But um, you know that that teaser video that Jaws shared? Yes. Where it, it sort of goes through the AR. It, if you guys notice, it pans up to the sky at the end. And everyone- Oh, I missed that. It's astrophotography. Like, not fully, uh -huh. but it goes from, like, two-thirds lake to, like, two-thirds sky. Okay. And everyone says it's astrophotography. And I'm, it's the, I, yeah, always I didn't on see display, that for some reason. Which is, is possible. You know, I think astrophotography is likely. It's been rumored. However, that's so obvious, okay? I- think this is apple saying you're in the middle of this lake look there's nothing around but the stars and i guarantee they're gonna have somebody on a boat in the middle of that lake and they're gonna send a text on their iphone 13 using a literal satellite john how cool is that yeah the, you could I mean, be in the middle of a lake in the middle of nowhere and shit. send a text <laughs> that is out of this world that literally I, actually i cannot contain no actually i I cannot contain. So honestly, until I heard that, I was getting a little bit bored. But that is something nobody else is doing. That is uh -huh. something that was, it's so fresh, right? Like we've heard smaller notch now. So obviously while I'm looking forward to that, we've been hearing the rumor about a smaller notch since 2017. Are you excited? Does that part matter to you time. at all? It does matter. And I'm I'm happy to see some big improvements. Uh -huh. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to be a big thing for me. But um, yeah, it's really the satellite that... Uh, I saw kind of a sketchy rumor, but that I kind of believe that in, in the US, like Starlink okay. will be the system that Apple uses. Now, I've heard oh, Guo say that that's not going to happen, but uh, it kind of makes sense for the US market where Starlink kind of already has like a dominant presence in the, in yeah. the satellite market. I just think this opens up, <sighs> dude, I, I, I mean, I just... Listen, it's not going to be for communication like, hey, I'm, I'm out. Look at me in the lake. You know, you will not be able to send photos. I think this is going to be 20 to 40 characters, mm -hmm. very short, you know, help at these coordinates <laughs> what, or something like that. Yeah, what if like the that. only thing you can send over satellite was just SOS and that's it? <laughs> <laughs> that would still be helpful, though, because, uh -huh. I mean, I remember when I was driving to... Um, I think it was going out to California. There were spots on Route 66 that didn't have cell service. Uh -huh. And uh, it, was, it was me and my girlfriend at the time uh, in like 2019. And, and I remember like, oh, if we break down, like we're screwed. We're on this road trip. I don't have a yeah. flat tire at the time. I, I don't have service. We're going to have to. And it was 95 degrees out with the sun beating down. And we didn't have any water. So it's like oh, okay. we would have just been stuck. Why'd you we risk it like stuck. that? That sounds terrible. I... Yeah, it was, I mean, we made it fine, but my point is now that won't be, I, it might not potentially be a life or death situation Do you because think you this could will reach be, out to emergency services. Do you think this will be an extra charge or no? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's going to be included. I think that's going to be the main draw of the 13. And I think they're going to market that like crazy oh, as yeah. they should. 
as they should, by the way. I, I'm yeah. not saying like, oh, it's dumb. That no, might be that might be the excuse to use ad. the whole number instead of 12 S. I think that's I think enough. Also, it's gonna have, it's a hundred percent gonna be 13, right? It's looking like it, isn't it? When we saw the the leaked, did you see the leaked case video where yeah. there's just stacks of 13 Pro Max? Uh -huh. Easy I, fake. I it's Photoshop. <laughs> I mean, I was like, someone could have faked these, but at this yeah, point, with the other doubt. iPhone 13 and this, and like you said, like the satellite, I I think it's gonna be. I think it's starting to earn its name. Do you think that this could like? I mean, like after a few years, that's it. Like the iPhone doesn't even need a cellular network anymore. That's the theory is that eventually that this will become what well, well, Apple's been working on that. German did this story from 2019 in uh -huh. December talking about Apple working on this global satellite network for the phones and how it was going to take some time. But it sort of reminds me of the, the dance that we see Toyota and Ford and everyone else doing with the traditional fossil fuel industry right now. Yeah. Obviously, there is no future for gasoline. No, and no. no car is going to have gasoline in 10 to 15 years. I right. mean, it's if, if you're, I don't know how someone could disagree with me, but if you do, just like slap yourself a few times and like wake up. Slap That's just sucks. one of those things where you can see. It's it's uh -huh. almost like a, when when the internet came out, it's like, why would I go to the library when I can Google it? It uh -huh. just, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. There's no market for, I mean, libraries, yes, they're, they're still around in some capacity, but yeah, everyone at the library right so, now going, hey, hey, I'm listening at the library. <laughs> and I see the same thing happening with the cell industry. I mean, uh -huh. AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, what are they going to say? Oh, okay, Apple. Yeah. No, we're, no, you... We're, we'll just go revenue zero. No, no big deal. Yeah. You're good. We appreciate our time together. It was so great. No, they are going to be hanging on for dear life because what are their, I mean, they've tried to diversify their businesses. You're noticing internet uh -huh. offerings for many of these home internet, phone, TV, but these are all things that are, they're all consolidating to the internet. And if uh -huh. Apple makes their own internet for the phones, I mean, gigabrain move on apple's part yeah. by the way it, i mean i'm not saying it could it could be a good time to buy shares of apple but i'm just saying this is not financial advice but like i'm happy to yeah. be a shareholder i just think Did you notice it's our gonna stock be drop today after we put out our thing did it really yeah i mean i don't want to say that we did it i'm just saying that it wait, went wait, down like did 1. all the stocks 1, drop two five percent oh it looks like a lot of the stocks had a real rough day um yeah yeah i think that uh I'm not, like I said, I'm not excited, but the satellite thing is cool. I, I bet Apple could get me excited about it. You know how they'll go on stage and market it, make it sound like it's magic. I mean, it kind of yeah. is magic, actually. Um, it is. I think that I... I uh, I'm beyond excited. I think I'm just, I think I'm more excited about Apple Watch. Uh, I am going to buy the iPad mini, too. If that comes out next week or it's announced next week, yep. Probably going to have to wait for the next heard... event, though. I've heard that a lot of stores are ordering these small iPad stands. Yes, you have. They're only used for the minis. Like, to be ready, like, soon? Yeah, like, week that the iPhone would be oh, coming okay. out. I hope so, dude. I want that. Because I agree, right? If they announce the iPad mini and the base level iPad and the iPhone 13s and the Apple Watch... Uh -huh. I mean, there's no way we get an event just for M1X, do we? But then again, they did have an event just for M1 last yeah, year. Yeah, they did do that. I think if we, we have an event see... for M1X, we definitely are going to see the Mac Mini this year. There's no way they do a whole event just go MacBook Pro, big and small. Here you go. But didn't they do that in October of 2016 for the redesigned MacBook Pro? A whole event. I think so. I think that's all that they announced for the, the, you know, the oof one, the bad keyboard, USB-C only, like yeah. the original redesign of this series. The, the oof I'm one. I'm pretty sure. I, <laughs> yeah. you know, it was a complete disaster looking back. I, I think that at first I thought that was crazy and now reflecting on it. Yeah. I mean, I, I do think M1X would be announced in both the MacBook Pro and the Mac mini. Uh-huh. What if, oh, what if we got the iMac? What if they gave the us iMac the Pro? IMAC? That would be so cool. Oh my God. I would be God, genuinely I would surprised. Lose my mind. I mean, they're honestly just scale up the current design of the M1 iMac and make it black. Yeah. Done. That's all you have to do. 
put M1 Act, like, I don't know, maybe I sound completely ignorant, but that does, if you've already done all of the engineering work and thermal stuff for one chip, I feel like it couldn't be that hard to scale it since you already have it and it's out and you've got the manufacturing lines right. to simply go, okay, this much bigger, same proportions, same, you know, same, just increase it by a percentage. Right. I mean, that doesn't sound too crazy to me. I, I Yes. D- who's was it Dylan DKT or whatever? He said, yeah, I think not he said next year. Do you think they would have preview it or announce it? No, well, they wouldn't I think do that they've for... done. I think ever since air power, they're not doing that shit anymore. Yeah, they're done. I think you're right. That, yeah. They, so they I mean... did that and ruined themselves for the next forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. That still shows up in comments like crazy, dude. Uh huh. Air power. So I'm, I'm interested though. You're you're more excited for Apple Watch than iPhone. That's for a guy yeah. that doesn't care about the Apple Watch. Usually, that's interesting. Yeah. You by the way, it's wears. not on. It's it's yeah, actually sitting say. right here. Uh, and it is um dead. <laughs> not on. It's all the way dead. You're like all dead. of my friends. All of my friends. My watch is dead. My watch. Just charge it every night. Yeah. I, I'm just, I forget. I'm getting it just because it looks cool. It does. Is it? I feel look like cool as a piece of jewelry. What? What? Probably not. When I leak something, I feel like I have an <laughs> obligation to get it. And so since we, the, we put uh, the design Mac. out, I was like, I feel like we have to get it. So you're gonna get the Mac Pro. <laughs> what? What? The Which Mac one? Pro. The, you ma- like the, little, the Mac Pro the, Mini. Yeah, the Cube. Whatever you call that thing. Oh, dude. Uh-huh. Uh Did I ever send you the real life picture of that that I got a few weeks ago? No, what? I got it around the same time as uh, iPhone. What? From the same person? Uh, I guess you shouldn't say. One one of the... One person. <laughs> one of the peoples. Yeah, hang on. Is yeah. So is Good Good back at all? Uh, No, he's on, he's on the... He's laying low. We still talk, but he's mm. laying low for reasons. He hasn't been gotcha. captured, but... That's good. That's good. Okay. I send to you, okay? This is the casing for it. Wait, I've never seen this. I'm reacting to the new Mac Pro live on Genius Bar. Okay. It's literally oh, just... Oh, I think you did... It's very underwhelming. It's just a, it's just a block of aluminum. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... <laughs> you know, it, that's all it is. Yay! <laughs> uh, why is it such a bad photo? What do you mean? Like from it far just away? looks sketchy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would say I would say it was sketchy, but it's the same people as like, you know, hmm. iPad Mini, Apple Watch. Hmm. That honestly doesn't look that good. No. I need a design or something. And from what I mean, from what I know, that's just the casing. So who knows? Yeah. Maybe there's something else that's more special about it. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. We are. I mean, we Very are working interesting. on. We are working on one more. Uh, render. One more thing. One more. Not like a one more thing, but just a little something, something. Little, little something. What do you Very mean? confusing For what? product. Uh, For the not uh, Mac Mini Pro, but Mac Pro. Mm. Yeah, it's very. It's odd. Have I sent it to you? Wait, is that different than what you just sent me? I thought I was just looking at Mac Pro Mini. No, that no, this is just Mac Pro. This is like Apple okay. Silicon Mac Pro. But I thought that was the Apple Silicon Mac Pro. No, there's two different. I mean, yes, the Mac Pro Mini is Apple Silicon, but there's another uh, there's another Mac Pro. Hmm. I yeah. thought that was going to remain Intel and just the current body. It's not the current body. Oh, can I so see the, it? The, the Intel one, there's going to be, yeah, there's one more Intel one, one or two more Intel ones in the current body. What? It's hmm. very odd. In fact, I guess I don't even know if it is, uh, like, I don't know if it's a completely separate Mac. I, I'm curious about your reaction to this. Oh, wait, I've also seen this now. I remember it. Yeah, it shares similarities to the trash can one but not mm-hmm. <laughs> there's like a panel on the front that shares the similarities to the to the i we don't we have no idea what mac that is 
Yeah, this thing's weird. It's just a stop sign, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just a uh, stop sign. That I almost Please passed out. I laughed so sign, hard man. that I almost passed out. My face is all red. Please call it. Oh, I want to show it so bad. I want. You ever laugh so hard where off. like you were you were already on the exhale and you don't have any air in you, but then a laugh like unexpectedly comes out and then all your air's gone comes out of your belly, and then you're like yeah. struggling for oxygen. That's what oh just happened. Oh my god. Do you oh. know what else makes me struggle for oxygen? What? Magic Spoon, my favorite cereal. It makes you struggle for uh, probably the way you eat it. <laughs> yeah, Just because shoveling I'm going... it in. <laughs> That's what I'm Sam's doing. Sam's favorite and sponsor, the, everybody. The people from Magic Spoon, they sent out some. Oh, look at look at how. Oh, I got to move the mic for this shot. Everyone's favorite clean. sponsor, actually. Magic look at how Spoon. clean my shot looks right now. Oh, <gasps> look at how it's a that cocoa. Is a, that is a thumbnail. That's literally a YouTube thumbnail. Look at that. What if that oh. was the thumbnail for the show? Just Magic Spoon. It's they should pay so extra for that, actually. Good. They should. Listen, guys, Magic Spoon. It's a cereal you ate as a kid, and you think of a healthy cereal to say, How can I eat cereal? Oh, I just bit my tongue. Oh. I heard that. Oh. oh. It's okay. I got it. Oh. It's, it's, you're like, Oh, man, eating cereal I is so Magic nice Spoon. as a kid. But then you grow I have to up open and, the box. and all the cereal is bad for you. And you're an adult. You can't have cereal that's bad for you. That's where Magic Spoon comes in. There's zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 oh. grams of protein, and only four net mm. car- grams of carbs in each serving. It's 140 oh. calories per serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, wow. grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. And guess what? When you guys go to magicspoon.com slash genius bar, you get not only $5 off your order, but you have the ability to order a custom bundle. This means you can get anything custom from the bundle. Perma- they, guys, they permanently added cookies and cream and maple waffle. It's permanent. Let me repeat that. Permanent. Yeah. Mm, also, this cocoa. Why is it? I not remember this being this good. Oh. Have you seen every... I mean, I hate to wow. say it, but out of all the sponsors we have, people are constantly sending us pictures and videos of their Magic Spoon delivery. You guys love well, Magic it's like, Spoon. How could, how could you not? It is a great way to eat cereal and not gain weight. You and want a guaranteed? Yeah, not, this is not part of the ad read. This is my experience. So I want to be clear. This is, okay. this is my experience with Magic Spoon because I don't want to make any false claims for the advertiser. Yes. But I think it's a great way being that it is only 140 calories of serving and mm-hmm. low, um, <laughs> low Carb. zero grams of sugar per serving, yeah. but also protein. Like as somebody I've, I've noticed like I've gained some weight in a good way of like muscle after going to the gym and eating this stuff. Dude, it's a lot of campaign. It's if phenomenal. you just get ripped and you're like, they're like, whoa, bro, how, what is your nutrition like? And you're just like, magic spoon. <laughs> magic spoon. Anyway, guys, we love them. You guys know them. Keep supporting them. I want them to be on the show till the day this show goes off the air, which is yeah. never, by the way. Which never, is never. You guys want a guaranteed yeah. retweet from the Genius Bar podcast Twitter account. Send us a picture of you getting your magic spoon delivered. Yeah, basically. Anyway, guys, magicspoon.com slash genius bar. Use code genius bar at checkout for $5 off your order. That's magicspoon.com. Slash Genius Bar. And thank you, Magic Spoon, for supporting this episode of The Genius Bar. The Genius Bar. Sam, I have breaking news. Breaking news for the podcast. Mark Gurman and I, myself, have made up. Yay. We're good. We're good. He and I talked privately, and we're good. Uh, I reached out after today's leak. And oh, uh, okay. yeah, he and I are good. Uh, he said, nice scoop and the renders look great. Um, so no uh-huh. more no more animosity between Mark Gurman and I. We still might f- oh. make fun of his weird newsletter, but I, I retained the right. <laughs> <laughs> we still might bully him on occasion, <laughs> but I'm glad. You literally it won't be all the time, that. okay? You're, you're That's, like, no, you like it won't be all the time. You get a response from this dude for months. He finally is like, all right, man, like let's be, and you're uh-huh. like, we still might completely <laughs> shit on him from time to time. No, it's not completely funsies. shit. It's just like a little nugget. Did no one teach you how to maintain relationships with people? No, listen, like, it's not, it's not, I'm not, we're not shitting on him all the time. You know when you go poop and you really feel like you got poop, but only a little bit comes out? That's, that's all. Just a little bit. Sometimes. Yeah, that little bit of poop is in yet another ad- redundant <laughs> version of Mark Gurman's Power On newsletter. Karina, we're gonna have, we're, I'm gonna be throwing yeah. hands for Gurman. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also was about to throw hands with some of the coverage of you today because I was like, people are just annoying, dude. They just uh, can't accept that you're popping off. 
Queen. St- Pop off, Queen. Yeah, Steve from One Lease was a is a classic one. Coming in with his John Prosser hate boner again, just swinging that thing around like always. Just being like, oh, I mean, when it's, it's wrong, it's a- he's just going to be like, it's a failed prototype. And I responded with his, with his failed, failed prototype? prototype of iPhone 11. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous, yeah. dude. Oh. He has said that. Uh, there's a tweet. I'm going to find it. Actually, somebody out there in the audience, before he deletes it, I need you to find a tweet. I cannot find it. I saw it one day, could not, and I haven't been able to find it since. There is on record a tweet from Steve at OnLeaks on Twitter where the man unironically said that he's never been wrong. There have just been prototypes that haven't that didn't like come to fruition. So he's never been wrong. There's just you know a prototype that didn't get picked. That's all. He's never been wrong. It's Say. just a prototype that didn't make it through. Dude, I'm I'm a I'm a billionaire. I'm just not going to show you my bank account, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you there guys was, are here there first. I'm so, a billionaire. There were so many people from like you know the community, like Nine to Five Mac and Mac Rumors and stuff, that reached out and like, yo, you killed him with that tweet. Because he was like, you're just going to say it's a failed prototype like you always do when you're wrong. And I was like, oh, you mean like you did right here? And sent him a picture of the yeah. iPhone 11 prototype that was uh, incorrect. People just, it's y'all just chill. I don't understand. We're all doing the same shit. I don't, what is the problem? Why can't, I, yeah. I don't, and maybe it's my fault for reacting and like responding. Maybe that's what they want. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, he's just being a little. And a someone little was like. I'm proud, from, I, I have, I have increased respect for german for you know burying the hatchet with you uh-huh. i've always had great respect but i i think it's cool i i think we can all coexist i really yeah. do there's room for all of it there's room for his newsletter there's room yeah. for fpt there's i mean we've said this before on the videos. show i think it was on the show like today it was me and my leak but tomorrow it's gonna be somebody else in their shit like it, who cares yeah who cares we're all doing this guys we're losing sight of the goal we want we Tim stick Cook's together, life to be man. as hard as possible. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> no! I, I. Do you think Tim? Do you think Tim saw this today? Like, do you? Do you, do think, you Tim think he did into contact with this? I think he didn't. I dog really don't think he knows who any of us are. I don't think he I knows think who you our are is. Dude, did you see that video though of him running into I Justine at the Apple Store? No. I gotta hold on. Well, we're gonna keep talking. Okay. I'm gonna find this. Did he know who she was? Did he, did he play okay, it off? Okay. He definitely knows he, who she is, no matter what he says. Okay, that's what I'm saying, but I don't know. Okay, it's, I'm going to share my tab, my extra Chrome tab. Um, we're playing a, a dumb ad. We hate ads here. So here's what I'm saying. Can you see the, Can you see my tab? Uh, yes, I see it. Okay. Okay. So this is at the grand opening. Okay. Of Apple Store Tower Theater. This is uh, I Justine, Brian Tong. You can actually see him. Right I see there. Brian Tong um, being Brian Tong got, right yeah. there. And Crystal Laura. They, oh, she has six shoes, by the way. I really want to be friends with Crystal. She just doesn't follow me or anything because I want to get involved with like projects and stuff. Uh-huh. Anyway, so they're outside of here. They're vibing. They vibing. But also. Did you need to get to the Apple store? Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mean to someone for being excited. I'm also excited about things, so what am I doing? But look, so he's he's here, and then look, they open the doors. Look okay. who it is. But also look look at how this man opens the door. He's like a superhero. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. <laughs> look at him dun, 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 the door dun, dun, like it's a thousand pounds. This man, I love him so much. That's my oh, dad. Tim. I'm so proud of my dad. Oh um, uh, yeah, so look, dude! Somebody, re- hang doors. on, real quick. Somebody yeah. responded. They said that in the comments of the uh, front page tech today. They were like, "I didn't know Tim's or Sam's dad." And I was like, "Wait, what?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, it's Sam's fucking joke about how I mean, it's not a joke. It's real. Tim Cook is your Thank father, you. but they Thank it, you, it Tim has, Cook is my I want dad. you to know that your joke, not joke, has bled over. Okay, into other places now." <laughs> Tim Cook's my dad. I'm going to keep saying it until I have a, at least 1% of that billion dollars. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying it. I also just want to like, you know, get the child support money eventually, but whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll whatever. Get that next. Not asking for So too much. Here, here's De- Deirdre O'Brien. That's her name, right? I think so. Dia Deer? She looks really friendly. She gives me good vibes, I think. But also like... <laughs> if you miss selling iPhone, I'll fucking cut your vibes, you know? <laughs> so this is them to opening the door. So, right. Everybody's here. 
So I just seen in them get special access to go in. Very cool, very good opportunity. Watch this, watch this next clip. <laughs> Look at him. He does not belong out in public. He has no fucking idea. I am idea. not convinced. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He didn't. Okay. How would you not say, hey, Justine? Or he, he said, good to see you. Like, obviously, he uh -huh. knows her face. But I doubt that he knows more than that. Which is, like, don't get me wrong. But I'm not saying, like, CEO is like this. You have a bunch of free time. Like, I understand uh -huh. as I even grow my YouTube channel how much just less time you have. And I couldn't imagine running an Apple. Yeah. But- just from watching this, I I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> there's no, I mean, listen, he's got a lot more people in the store, right? So you can't yeah. really do small talk. I'm just saying if I was, Tim Cook seems like such a personal guy sometimes, personable. And uh -huh. I feel like he would have thrown in, like, he's not even looking at her when they're talking. Yeah. You see oh, what he's saying? busy. He's like, got to entertain all those other people. Like he's already looking past her. There's like thirty thousand people I, in front of him. He's got. He's just paying attention to them. All right, hear me out. Something that I really respected about um, Joe Biden. Okay. Something that is a really cool story about him. Politics aside. Okay. Is that uh, Obama would always complain about traveling with him on the road because Biden would stay in line and talk to every single last person that came mm. to talk to him. He would mm. not leave. Barack would say hi to a few people and go, but he said traveling with Joe was really hard because it would be hours after a campaign event ended and Joe would still be shaking hands, talking to people. Oh, wow. And from a human perspective, again, I'm saying politics aside, everything, recent events aside, I really respect that. And I think that's a really good trait. And I just like to see that from people, people that can, uh, you know, show that, that, yeah, they're, they're them but they're not too good to make eye contact with you and talk to you like, you know, a human. I, I appreciate yeah. that. <clears throat> cool, cool little antidote. Not that Tim Cook is not like that. Again, maybe he's got things going on. Maybe he does know who Justine. Maybe we're hyper analyzing. I, I'm not trying to be too hard on the dude. I, he I does so much yeah. good for the world. I, it's hard to hate on Tim Cook, genuinely. He like, just all looks aside. like that video. He just looks busy. Yeah, no, I, I'm sure he's like mini LED display supply constraint. I have to get these numbers up. Like, like that's probably what he's thinking. Yeah. And he's like, just Justine, you're pushing it here with the selfie because we've got three suppliers that just pulled out for the iPhone, Justine. Okay, hey, welcome. You know, I mean, that's his job, right? It's his yeah. job to be. You know, we're we. I I can't hate on the dude. What am I saying? He's great. We love Tim. We stand Tim. You here. don't think that? Okay. Um, I mean, great guy. Great guy. What, there was an interview. I think we bring this up. Uh, we've brought this up a few times. There's an interview with Phil Schiller. I think it was on Jonathan Morrison's channel where yeah. Phil even says that they pay attention to like leaks and rumors and Apple stuff, Apple rumors more than we think they do. And so yeah. I definitely feel like they, I mean, they have to know. I think they have to know this know. happened today. I don't, oh, no, some, like, Craig Federighi knows this happened. Mm. Tim Cook? I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think myself. so? I'm saying, I, I would, I, I'd, 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 I'd like to know. Sam, why don't you just respond to our invitation to come on the show and let us know? You don't even yeah, have to Tim. look at us like you didn't look at Justine. You could just sit there and just have a camera on Not, and you pretend. Could, you could be camera three. Yeah. Just like we could pop in and get your opinion. We'll I put a what diaper on you take. like we did Maisie. <laughs> oh, he's not that old. <laughs> Maisie's, not, Maisie's only 15. She's a lot younger than Tim Cook. Oh my, in dog years, she's like significantly older. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think we work out enough to hang out with Tim Cook though. No. He works out. Like I work out like five days a week and that's not enough to compete. He, I, Tim Cook, I feel like uh, just that's, he's just lifting in his meetings. Yeah, that that so man too. is on some magic spoon. I think Tim Cook eats magic spoon. I think so That's too. That's because I he's my dad. I send him boxes. He sends me a lack of child support checks. You know, it's. Do you think we can say that? Trade. Like magic spoon, the 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 trusted cereal for Tim Cook. I don't. I don't think we can say that. I don't. Think you don't think so? I don't think we could say that. In, I think we could say it now, but I don't think we could say it inside the ad read. I mean, that would there's be a third enough party proof. endorsement. 
But there's no proof that he does. Yeah, how else do you get arms that big? It's Magic Spoon. <sighs> Magic Spoon is like so double edge. To... It's like, okay, it, it gives you enough protein, but also lifting the spoon is like a bicep curl every time. One, mm. two, one, two, and you're getting the protein. So it's just I mean, like, who knows? It's a full thing, full package. You know, I also, yeah, I thought maybe this year we would see more from Tim or like more interviews. And I was like, maybe, maybe by some grace of God, I'll get uh -huh. to do. Oh, could you imagine my video call? But he's the winding Cook down. Interview. The Tim, oh, Tim, please, before you retire, can we just, I just, 30 minutes, F 15 minutes. That's not too much to ask, minutes. I don't think. 15 minutes you're in you're out i'll pay you to be there i just want to i just want to chat about a couple things i just want to talk and i want to i want to see inside tim cook's mind because i feel like we know a lot about tim but well, we, i want to like we think we do yeah i want to i want to get to know him on a personal level i want to know what he does in his free time i want to know what shows he's into i want to know um what he's going to do after Apple. I want to know what his, you know, his passions are outside of helping the world. I want to know, you know, what it was like to grow up. I think he grew up in Alabama, right? I mean, he, uh, he's I talked so. about these things broadly before, but you know, how he's seen the world change, you know, when, when he grew up without a cell phone and now it's, I, these are things, it'd be so fascinating to, you know, to really hear, to hear from him, to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. I, before he retires. I would, I would replace you with Tim Cook if I had the opportunity. Oh, I wouldn't blame you at all. Okay. Just, just like just if you would sure have we like leaked that. my video early, I wouldn't have blamed you. I would have just been hurt. If you replace me with Tim, I won't blame you, but I will be hurt. Yeah. Uh, but but you know what maybe, you, should, maybe... you should replace? What should I replace? Tell you me. should replace your lawnmower 3.0 with the lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped. Oh, you have it. <laughs> okay. You really weren't kidding. You brought the props today. Zip, Careful, zip, don't get you're getting zip, that a little zip. too close. Oh, don't worry, John, because with, uh, what's it called? With the advanced skin safe technology, <laughs> it features a cutting edge ceramic blade. That's that to reduce grooming accidents. Thanks. Now, let's so, so say reduce, you know, don't, you can't be. I mean, have you, ah! Sam, ah! have, have you, have you had a grooming accident? You, be, you know, I would say it's probably been reduced. They are not I've good. Switched to Manscaped. Yeah. It can be a little scary. When your little hairy starts looking <laughs> a little wary. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. That was unnecessary. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you. So listen, there's a 4,000 K LED spotlight. Look at this. I said, do I need this cool, really fancy light? Oh, I God. said, no, no, no. I use the light from, look at this. I use the light from man's. Uh, there it is. <laughs> it, it's doing more, it's doing more than I thought it would. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm for how bright it is. Yeah. Look at, so imagine you're shaving. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, you're supposed to do it like kind of like a scoop yeah. motion, I think. Yeah, it's really, really great. Manscaped has their new performance package 4.0. It includes the new lawnmower 4.0, which is a really sick upgrade. John knows it privately. As soon as the 4.0 came out, we didn't have it immediately and we were mm -hmm. talking about it. I said, mm -mm, this is I need I need the 4.0. Yeah. I can't have an old piece of tech, just like I have to buy the new Apple product. And yes. I can say build quality better, wireless charging, cooler. Uh it it's not like in it, it's like actual wireless charging. So that's uh -huh. a cool feature. You've got this bright LED. You've got the 7,000 RPM. Sorry, by the way, 9,000. Sorry, 7,000. People are like, people are like, why do you need an LED light on a, a hair trimmer? But listen, especially where you're trimming, like you're, tr you're trimming in the shadows, man. It gets dark down there. And I'm sorry, when's the, when, wh how is being able to see what you're doing a bad thing? Yeah, I don't think that's ever been a bad thing. Hold on, I need to get the deets about how many RPM this lawnmower is. The lawnmower I, is seven thousand RPM. I bet, Sam. Thank you. Four point. While you're sh while you're trimming, shaving your area, your man area, your yeah, your wiener is just so big that it just casts a huge shadow, and that is why you mm. need the LED light on the lawnmower four well, You know what they say: if you trim the hedges, the tree does look taller. John. <laughs> is that part of the ad read, or is, did you just come up with that? I mean, you haven't heard that before? I have, but I didn't know if they wrote it in the ad read or if you just decided that it was the best time to say it. Uh, I think I just, that was that was pretty much That was me. the same thing? That's okay, well, me. it's still true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, listen, when you go to manscaped.com, you use the code Genius, you get 20% off and free shipping. 20%? Uh, yeah, I mean, hi highly recommended. I didn't have a good 
little option until this guy and look at this. Look at the little light. I don't know. Well, it's just, just really great. At? Like it's it's nice that somebody just specializes in this like man thing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm starting to date again, so I gotta actually can't can't be looking like the black <laughs> forest over here if you know yeah. what I'm saying. And your balls will thank be all, you. That's from them. They say whoosh, that. Whoosh, whoosh, you know, you gotta you gotta trim those hedges. I'm a fan of the trimmed hedges myself. Okay, and thank you to Manscaped for supporting this episode of of the Genius Bar. The Genius Bar. I'm impressed that we yeah, remember the name bar. of our fucking show. This is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. so we got uh, we got Apple event. We got iPhone 14. Oh. Is there anything? I mean, there's been a lot that's happened. Uh Oh, Luke Miani was in St. Louis for like a week. Yeah, you guys, you guys both dropped videos. I like how yeah. uh, you kept it like, did you drop them at the same time? Yeah, because I uh, opened YouTube and yours was all mysterious and you like blacked him out and you were just in the fucking thumbnail of his yeah. so, like completely ruined and then, re- it. and then his video wasn't doing well. So he removed me from the thumbnail. So I'm no longer. Did it work? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it did better. <laughs> I, I we were literally standing at my kitchen counter and he goes, I think I'm, we watched this video about like optimization and like changing the thumbnail. He's like, I'm going to change. I'm going to take you out. And I was like, hey, you don't really have to, bud. And he goes, <laughs> you don't really I'm have take you to. Out. And I was like, yeah, but you can like put me back. Like oh. I need the eagle. Bo-. So yeah, his video did like 15K views more than mine. They were still, they didn't perform great, but they were, they were both good videos. So maybe that's the secret for your thumbnails. You got to take yourself uh, out of the thumbnail. I guess. I'm, I'm in Luke's room. Luke, Luke is that was the sleeping. Mattress? Is that right? the mattress that Luke Maisie's on? Well, she's just on my rug. I see oh, her. Hi, I see Maisie. Do we have the Maisie cam? Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, we're going to have to get... Oh, she just squatted and peed live on the genius <laughs> bar in her diaper. Here, Maisie. <laughs> no. Oh, Maisie, Maisie is okay. Who's a good girl? It's okay, Maisie. Oh, she tried to pee. I wonder how she feels trying to pee, but she can't because it's in the diaper. Yeah, I know. She, she's oh, a piece of work. Oh, my goodness. Aww. You're so cute. Oh, Maisie. Oh, she's so cute. You are the cutest look little pupper. You. Who's the goodest so girl? Yeah, her, her and Luke, look at her just chilling, dude. Uh, who's the goodest girl? On. She got her little diaper on. Hopefully, there's just no personally exposed information. A this diapy. is also iPhone cam. Okay, thank you, Maisie, for sponsoring this episode of, of The Genius Bar. Good night, Maisie. Oh, Sweet oh, dreams. She knows. Right. She knows how cute she is right now. Dude, she's so adorable. Oh, Maisie. Oh, such a precious little baby. Little oh, she's baby. so cute, dude. Oh, oh, she just pe- she pee peed in her diaper. Yeah, that's all <laughs> she does all day. That's also on me. I should have taken her out more, but I'm doing a podcast. Sorry, Maisie. Sorry, um, we're I'll working the, here. What um, else is uh, news wise? I'm looking at AppleTrack.com. Oh, hey, look, uh, there's iPhone 13, uh, 14 on Apple Track. <laughs> Oh, we we didn't really talk about what well, we talked about the event. But California streaming. I was surprised to see that tagline. It was not what I was expecting. Yeah. Myself. So I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw the invites, I was like, "This is it," because so we had the iPhone 14 episode done, edited. The only thing that I was waiting for, because we knew invites were coming out, and the only thing I was yeah. waiting for was to put a picture of the invite in the video. And mm. the invite came out. And I was like, "Tech." kind of sucks that looks not good i don't in california streaming what the hell but then the ar thing makes it way better being able to walk in to the apple logo dude let's play it on youtube just for people to see it this is okay. greg jaws's video right. look at this thing dude it's oh. so good and then the music oh. oh so good dude it makes me feel something Oh. oh wait, I mean, you see so what that's I'm saying? definitely hinting it always on display. Yes. So yes. So this is cool. You can recreate this on your iPhone right now. So this is it, right? But all the other events, it, these short little videos, they just stay on it. Notice how it pans it up does. It pans and there's up. things moving. I think that these are satellites or something like that that are moving. Yeah, that would make sense. Like, yes, it could I be stars, pay but attention. I think there'd be more stars pay, in the sky. I didn't pay that close attention until now where I'm like, oh, they did pan up to the sky like that. I'm telling you, dude, everything is intentional. Also, 
this is just so beautiful. Like it really is good. Look, this marketing dude. I mean, look, you go from Apple Park. Also, this is symbolism for me of being somewhere populated. Like if it was just astrophotography. Oh shit, you're <sighs> right. I don't know. Again, it could you could, you know, there's light pollution and stuff in cities, but it literally uh-huh. shows them going from like their also, what's this in the corner over here? What's that? What is that? I never noticed that. I don't know. I can't tell. What? I don't know. This is where Tim Cook always stands, though. They love this spot of Apple Park for uh, some yeah, reason. Yeah, they do. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. Man, look, and then you just go in. Oh, it's so cool. For everybody not watching on YouTube, you should be. But no, we, we love our audio listeners. And yeah, it just shows 9.14. And you're right. That's actually something I didn't even mention in my video. I didn't notice. But that does look like always on display. Yeah. Um, You're right. Sure. It does look like the, the thin numbers. So that that makes sense. Also, the invites are generally a reflection of the default wallpaper. So it is, I assume that the Apple Watch, or sorry, the iPhone 13 is going to have basically this wallpaper. You think so? Which reminds me of the iPhone, of the iPhone 8. Yeah. Sorry, iPhone 6 wallpaper. Oh yeah, it does remind me a lot, which we should know about because I played that game that you made. Yeah. But that's it, man. It's, it's going to be cool. I mean, we're so close. Uh, It's going to be amazing. It's. It's weird to me because it feels like we've been waiting forever. And now that it's finally here, I'm like, oh, this is it. You know, it, yeah. it's like, but I, I think the event could be pretty, pretty nuts. I mean, it's the new iPhone. It's the biggest, it's the biggest commercial event they do. So do you think we're getting year. bamboozled? Do you think there's no multiple events and it's just one massive thing? I don't think we're going to see M1X at this. No, no, I don't think that's ready yet. Not yet. I don't we think could so see either. AirPods. We could see AirPods. Yeah, I think AirPods three. I don't. I don't think we're getting. I don't think this is the only event either. It would just be. It would be cool. Oh, I don't want it all at once. I don't either. But I. It just feels like that. Uh, it just feels like this invite was really special and. Yeah, it does feel. That song. I actually looked up the song, and it's a pretty good song. It's by an electronic artist, and. Oh, it just it's, it's just brilliant. I mean, they they kill it like their intros. Mm. Their, great. their music choices are always amazing I, I just feel something like i i watch the old events sometimes like especially the digital old events last year's yeah. digital events and i just remember watching that september one and just feeling something it's, we did it's that magical a lot too. we did that a lot too for the especially for the it's animation magical. for iphone 14 we looked at like past events like the um the way we showed the volume buttons on the iPhone 14, which is something a shot that I really wanted Ian to figure out, is in, mm. is inspired by the iPhone 6 reveal. It is a similar yeah. shot for iPhone 6. Oh, it, it, it's so cool. They're so good. By the way, did you, you watch the iPhone 14 reveal with headphones on? No, I forgot to. Dog, the bass trill when it sh- when the phone like starts to twist and it shows the um the volume buttons. It's so good. Oh. It's ridiculous. Right, you have it. to listen with headphones. Okay. Hey, I've got some on right now. Hey, la, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Is there anything else that I'll we have, have to, to talk about? I'll just pull it up. No, man. I mean, I feel like we'll be obviously covering things, the last minute stuff on our channels prior to the event. Yes. Um. I mean, are we gonna are we gonna live stream or anything for the event? Is that something we do now? Uh, or do we just do, vibe? I mean, if you're up to it, do you think we should live stream recording Genius Bar? Mm, that could be fun. Should we? I mean, should we start doing these live on YouTube? Is that something to think about? I think we should. But no, think we, about we, couldn't, it, yeah. we couldn't edit though. That would be tough. It'd yeah. be tough two man crew to do live. I think. Yeah. I like editing them. Just so if anything, if we fuck up anything during the recording, we can fix it. Before yeah. It I agree. Like when we see the wrong sponsor name in the <laughs> <laughs> if hypothetically that happens, yeah, yeah. But no, I mean we've got we've got iPhone 13. What do you think? Okay, let's do our final because this will be our last pod before the event that people are listening to. Yep. Final predictions. If you have to, not not official, just like your personal bet, what comes on September 14th? What does Apple announce? This is not based no. on any information. This is just me speculating. This is what you, John Prosser, as an Apple, yeah. f- what you thinks. What is John Prosser? iPhone think? 13, I'm not saying, Apple don't Watch. Don't report this. Okay. Uh, AirPods and iPad. I'm going to go iPhone 
Apple Watch, 100%. I'm going to say no AirPods. No AirPods. Do you think they'll do a press release say, or something? I'm going to say press release or like okay. the M1X event. But I could be wrong. Okay. I could totally be wrong. That's fair. And then, I mean, I've gotten all this info about iPad mini, but that's what I'm saying. It just seems, it, like, there's no way we get iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad mini, AirPods, uh, right, base iPad, do we? That's a lot. It is a lot, but that's why I feel like it's a big event. <sighs> hmm. Maybe. Also, All right, why my haven't you rolled that final. story on Apple Track yet? We kind of talked it about it publicly. We, yeah, we, we did it in we did it in the Luke and I's video. Like that that's was what I mean. Like you talked about it publicly. Store. Why haven't you done a report on Apple Track? I'm just I wanna just wait want and your, see because it just doesn't feel right. Record? It yeah, just the iPad mini at this event, like it just I don't know, it just doesn't feel right yet. So I don't want to officially call it, but yeah, I We'll see, you know? Okay. So yeah, if I have to say my final, final, I iPhone, and honestly though, I could see iPhone and Apple Watch. They can fill up an hour of time easy with it. that. They definitely yeah. could, especially with the satellite stuff. Look at last year. They did HomePod mini, iPhone yeah. 12, iPhone 12 Pro. Yep. Done. Done. Maybe we see three events again. Maybe it's AirPods and iPads next month, M1X in November, and iPhone and Apple Watch in September. Yeah. They'd have plenty of time. I mean, personally, if I were Apple, that's probably what I would do. Spread it out, get coverage every month again. Yeah. The fans I'd be down it. for that. But then again, that's a lot of work on Apple's part to film three events, three concepts, three. Maybe it's just one. I don't know. You guys let us know down below. All right, Johnny. <laughs> uh, Johnny boy, next my, time we're, we're dude, talking. Dude, my brain is like, my brain is mashed potatoes. Oh, you got to go to bed. You I was like, dude, I was totally fine. When we started recording, I was like, yeah, let's go. And then my brain's like, but dog, you didn't sleep. What do you expect? What do you want to happen? <laughs> I'm also, I'm a little tired today, Maisie. I had to take Luke to the airport at like 5 a.m. on Sunday morning, uh -huh. <laughs> which I, I went back to sleep and recovered. But then I was up to like 5 a.m. or four, it was like 4.30 a.m. again on Sunday night. At, recording from the with video. Friends. Oh, was that, did you oh. record that on Monday night? I think I recorded on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Mon no, it was Monday night. A Sunday night I was with friends. Did you then wake Monday up I early today night. for the for the iPhone 14 stuff or did you just stay asleep? Well, my mom dropped Maisie off at like 7.40 a.m. Uh-huh. So then I had to get up for that. And then Maisie is very active in the mornings. So she cries until I take her out. So I have to take oh, her out two more times. Oh, Maisie. And I am just trying to... Not, I'm trying to sleep, and then she's crying, and then she's got water, and then I go into the room. That's and she's okay, throwing up a little bit on my easy. my very nice rug. So then I have to clean up the rug, and then she's hungry. So then we have to. You feed can her some always bones, buy a then... new rug. You can never buy a new Maisie. Oh my heart, John. <laughs> I, I'll I'll say this publicly because, um, you know I, I've said it to people privately, but Maisie Maisie's 15. And she has bladder cancer, so she Aww. is going to pass in the next couple weeks months we don't really know but they said it it takes up about like 75 percent of her bladder Aww. so that's why she has to wear diapers because she like it's not like she's just old it's like she physically can't hold the yeah like, there's no space it's like a 64 gigabyte and also drive, she's too old to give a full. fuck anymore man <laughs> yeah so she's just an old little baby so yeah i i've been trying to enjoy my time with her and Poor you know I, I wasn't gonna mention it publicly but she's here and she's part of my life so yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm enjoying our. We had some good walks today and some good vibes, and she was on Genius Aww. Bar, immortalized. Yeah, so she's officially part of the Genius Bar family, and and we love you guys for watching. Maisie loves you, John, and I love you. You guys are the best. Yeah, thanks That's for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, we're gonna try to get this out tonight. Uh, so hopefully yes. you see it then. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next week. I, I mean, there's nothing crazy going on, just like a whole Apple event, you know, but we'll cover that yeah, just when we little. get to it. Yeah. You guys will see our, our reactions, what came, what didn't. Please just give me the satellite. If the iPhone 13 doesn't have the satellite, I would be so upset, John. Where you open the box and the satellite just floats up and you have your own. Yeah. Like we talked Somebody about. Somebody else commented <laughs> that they, they thought the same thing as you last week. <laughs> so. All right, All right guys. guys, thanks for listening and watching. We'll see you guys next week. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.